Welcome everybody to this best of three match for the East Portal. This is between the Balkan Bears and Scary Faces. I'm uh, Sander, I'm your caster for this best of three. I have been called up a little bit on late notice, so I'm sorry for all the overlays. I'm going to be missing the overlays for the entire match of this one. And after this match, I will try to put the East Portal everywhere. Just to make sure that all of you guys know it, this is the East Portal match. The Balkan Bears versus Scary Faces. And let's just, let's just jump into it for now. Uh, let's just take a little bit of a look. Yeah, okay, Broadmother, Balkan Bears, Bent. Uh, well, yeah, in the previous match, uh, Scary Face actually picked this one up. And in the previous match, I mean the match between Scary Faces and Vega. And it was a really big pain in the ass for uh, Vega to play versus it. And the Balkan Bears like, okay, we're not going to do that. Same goes for Gyro. It was also hard to play against. And so they just banned it out as well, as well as both of these two heroes are just, well, team favorites from everybody right now. Picked up all the time. And yeah, that's how it just goes. And uh, yeah, oh, I'm also sorry guys, I need to tell you this, we probably have about now a four minute delay onto the stream. Because I have two minutes on it, and in the Twitch dashboard it's also two minutes. So I'm sorry for that, we'll, we'll fix it all in the next break. After the next break, everything should be perfect. But for now, I'm sorry for that. A little bit behind. But yeah, let's just do this. Hell yeah. And we have a Queen of Pain for Scary Faces. Just hero versatile. It has his blink. It has his Sonic Wave. It's just pure damage, which can blow up all of the squishies that you might pick up. And it's just a lane dominator as well. In middle, you're always just guaranteed to have a strong lane once you put a mid. Off lane, it can work out. You have your escape mechanisms as well. There's an Earthshaker is still fine because you can just blink over the Fissure, so... It's not the worst pick on to the offlane as well. Well, Welcome Bears, they open up with a strong combo here, Shadow Fiend, Earthshaker. Earthshaker is a good hero to also save your middle, so let's say if you have a Shadow Fiend there, who you preferably want to give a good uh, start, uh, doesn't need it, but... You know, an Earthshaker can help it out, can save him multiple times and just make sure that everybody stays there alive. Five seconds remaining. And scary faces need to look at how they're gonna respond to this. Reserve time. And yeah. Oh, good heroes versus the beastmaster for scary faces. Yeah, this is a hero just picked up all the time. Yeah, with the double board slowing it all the time. A little bit of a lane dominating in that sense. One versus one, fairly strong though. Usually on the off lane. Which I'm going to assume he's also going to be either on the off lane or on the solo safe lane. But not accompanied by anybody yet. Yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised that we haven't seen an Undying pick the or bent so far. Usually once a gyro is bent, you see him picked up fairly, fairly evenly. So. And yeah, there you go. The <laughs> Undying bent. Called it. And he just, yeah. It's just such a strong hero, so annoying to play against. Once the DK, sta DK stacks start to uh, bow up a little bit, it's just tougher and tougher to play. Yeah. And, yeah. So, interesting way to, uh, to not see it this uh, game, essentially. And the Slarder Band from Scary Phases, they just want to go against this minor armor threat. Minus armor threat, and yeah. I'm gonna assume if you bend the star door out and you're afraid for the mines armor, you might as well ban out something like a vengeful then. The aura together with the wave of terror is just really strong for that. And yeah. That's just usually how it goes. And uh, no, they, they opt to go for a slark, a really up in your face hero. And with the dark pact being able to just get off the roar, it's really good. Though so Queen of Pain, her abilities mostly go through the Shadow Dance anyway. It's just a really annoying hero to play against and once he starts snowballing it's really tough to stop him. And having done, not having your uh, supports yet, you, this opens up a little bit more squishy your support kind of heroes because he won't be able to run up them, run up with them with the Shadow Blade or something like that. Yeah, and... Uh, Although the Shadow Fiend still blows them up. Okay, it blows them up, I know, it, but yeah. And I'm just really wondering what uh, what the like the end strats are going to be for them. Scary Face so far, it's really... Like the Beast Master, you can do like the Zookeeper's build. And you know, you just get all the Necro books there. All the summons that you have and just start pushing down towers. Then we might also maybe see like now the DK picked up or something like that for State 21. And things like that. 
along those lines. Even the Chen, maybe, but the one problem you already have is the Earth Shaker. Do you really want more summons and those kind of things there just to add up to the Echo Slam? That's just. It will be probably the best <laughs> Echo Slam of his life once you start piling all of those up there. And they, they opt for the, the Lash Wreck, another strong pushing hero. Uh, sometimes run as the core, well sometimes, actually now it's run more often as a core than as a support. And I'm just going to assume it's going to be the core hero as well. They, they are, first is uh, Vega, they were playing against it and they essentially also lost in regard to the, the dead. What is it, running around with Bloodstone, Octarine cores and BKBs just dealing out the DPS. They're going to try and copy that. Maybe a little bit and uh, go for the only to the push there. The Balkan Bears are looking at the counter push things here, maybe a little bit more. Uh, Shadow Fiend, of course, clears out group waves. Urshak as well, Wishstalker as well. So, actually, they're quite capable to defend their towers already a little bit. That's maybe what they're gonna look for for Clockwork. Okay. Clockwork versus Lashwork. Easy kill for him. Especially in the beginning, at least well in the beginning, because Lashwork is such a squishy hero. As long as Clover will get the early level 6, Lashwreck is just, well, feed for him. Beastmaster, he is okay-ish. Like, he is able to run away from the Clockwork if it's just the Clockwork hooking to him. And with this passive, the extra attack speaker should be able to get out of there. And, yeah, the Queen of Pain, yeah, he's fine for his Clockwork, he can just Five blink out. It should be okay. And they get a Shadow Demon out there, just this saving hero. And once you get Hookshot in, you just disrupt them. Try to reset a little bit and just try to counter-initiate and just start blowing up the enemies. One problem is... How good is it going to be? Shadow Demon has to start getting a little bit closer and the Witch Doctor... If you use that, you already lose a little bit of your lockdown. But at least it has a clear purpose already for the Shadow Demon. Apart from just the easy setups there as well. Shadow Demon uh, Disruption into Lash Wreck Split Earth is just a strong combo and we see that uh, well more often actually and uh, we see the Balkan Bears bending out the, uh, the Dazzle here. Hmm. Yeah it's a strong hero another little bit of a defensive support as well in the same regard as the Shadow Demon is. And that's just... I can get why they're going to do that as well with the armor and stuff and helps versus the Shadow Fiend negate the presence of the Dark Lord there. But I don't think Scary Face was looking for the defensive support there because if they're really going to go another defensive support it might be a little bit tough for them to start doing a lot because that means that Shadow Demon doesn't have really have somebody to pair with once he starts ganking apart from the Lash Wreck and let's say they pick a Dazzle, Lash Wreck is going to be the core like. Running a Dazzle core here that's not gonna work out but yeah SFC they're looking for a ban most likely of a number one position hero here actually a lot of heroes that are quite viable right now I even I even think that the anti mage is somewhat viable and you can just blink out war is able to catch up to him once you get him he can be bursted down though as, as well with the pure damage coming out of Queen of Pain but his old nice uh, shield versus the mana is also really good but they, they've been out the, the PL yeah just a hero that starts rushing at you, hard to deal with. They do have some clear, in a way, of uh, the Queen of Pain and the Beastmaster will access. And also the Pulse Nova a little bit, but Lash Wreck, his mana will just get drained. And he will be forced to get a really, really, really early BKB. And that's just not what they want. And yeah, guys, the Russian streamer is indeed two minutes faster than me. I'm sorry about that. A little bit of a miscommunication. <laughs> And yeah, Five we're gonna see what is Balkans Bear, their finishing pick gonna be here right now. They're gonna finish it off with a nice old Wind Ranger. Okay, they might actually be going a little bit of an aggressive try lane here with him there. As well as Wind Ranger, it does an unexpected amount of DPS with Aghanims, Milstrom, and even a Critic on top of that man. He is just starting to dish out the DPS and once you're caught out, you just get completely blown up. Just... It's going to be the end of you. And that's going to be a big problem for them. And yeah, that's... Let's uh, just look how it goes since we have the last pick up here going the way of uh, 
of SFC. We have Ramses on the just freshly picked up Juggernaut. Let's pick here. We have Quista playing the Queen of Pain. We have Egnor playing the Shadow Demon. We have State 21 playing his Beastmaster. And we have Shadow playing the uh, Lashrek. So I'm a little bit desert right now because I know State 21 is their mid laner. So this is going to be the mid laning Beastmaster. And maybe an aggressive tower lane here with Ramses there. And on the top lane, Quista as the Queen of Pain. Hmm. We'll see how it goes out. We have Miracle on his Wind Ranger. We have Hook playing the Shadow Fiend. We have Ari playing the Witch Doctor. We have the Crit playing the Earth Shaker. Walking around comfortably with his boots, ward, and three clarities there. And then we have, last but not least, of course, we have Jepsor here playing the Clockwork. And just some aggressive uh, movement here coming out of SFC. They're looking for an early kill, but uh, not going to find anybody. They're backing off here just in time already. And yeah, it's, it should probably... Might even get both of the bounty runes here if they're lucky. There's no real way for them to stop this. So. There we go. Top rune taken. No, Chris, he got a fissure into his face and he doesn't want to use an aggressive blink to get the bounty here. So essentially it's just a one for one trade here. BB as well as SFC get their own respective runes. Welcome to Pyrian Flax's guide to being a Dota 2 announcer. And yeah. Well let's see. This is gonna be this aggressive trial and I thought of it's gonna be split earth into a nice old disruption. Or disruption actually into split earth a doll. And then will they will f uh, follow it up with a blade fury and then should essentially be able to kill off anybody. Only problem is if Varian Ranger does get her off a of Rindrun and maybe he's able to get out of there. But they will just go in here. There they go. But it's not close enough there for the split earth. And there you go. Wind run is already Wind Ranger's already running away with the Rind run. Hello me stumbling over my words here, but that's already the first try there for the first blood. And sadly it did not work out here for SFC. But they will just make sure that they keep on the pressure here. This means that we have on the top lane Quista versus Jepsor alone. It should be fairly f okay for both. Quista should be able to dominate the, uh, the clockwork a little bit out of the lane here. But it should in the end all be fine. Day 21 he... Uh, winning from uh, a rage <laughs> Shadow Fiend there. That's going to be tough for him there. Shadow taking a lot of damage as well. He's almost going to die here. Is he going to take a spill here? No, he's not. But however, the spill, the death is going to be a miracle. First blood drawn there. And now they're going to look for area as well. There's going to be a double kill there for Agnard already. And the Fisher not killing off uh, the Lash Wreck there. So double kill going the way of SFC lanes here already. And Shadow might be looking to go back as well as Agnard. They're fairly low on HP. Not full with mana. So yeah, they're gonna go back and leave Ramses here alone to deal up first this try lane here. There we go. He is still doing fine. I'm just gonna add a real fast logo to uh, to this and hope it works out. I'm really a bit sorry for that. It goes like that, but we need to add those. And they're looking here for Ramses. Actually, there's going to be the Fissure out on him. He's blocked away from me. He does have Tangos and he's able to eat around the trees. And he is just fine. Another... They're just attempting to kill, get a kill on him while he's here alone here. They're now starting to come back to help him out. Oh, East Portal logo. Really big here. Ooh. Nobody saw that. Dum, 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 dum. No logo to be seen here. This is a new way of marketing, guys. Just put the logo as big as possible onto it. And... Ah, this seems okay. We'll leave the logo here. This is good. And now we're just gonna go back into the game right away. And Jepstor, he's taking some damage here again from Quista. Just using that nice old Shadow Potion to keep him out. Well, on bot lane, Agnard, they, he's just keeping everybody at bay. First moment somebody starts walking in, they're gonna have a Juggernaut running at them with a Blade Fury and Shadow trying to follow this up with a uh, Split Earth. And that's a little bit of lightning there, just to slow him down a little bit more. And it's just such a devastating combo in the end. Like, what are you gonna do against this? 
Oh, you can't hear me in the game? Oh, that, oh yeah, I, in, sorry, in the breaks I just put off my... Essentially, I got the open mic uh, back again. I'm sorry for the in-game things. Back again, I... Those in-game bugs are so... So bad. But yeah, there we go. So far, actually, in mid lane. Stage 21 is really been able to keep himself there into lane with the Zookeeper's build. You got those two boars. Helping him less hit all the time. And he's just keeping his... Uh, his own versus hook here. And this... I'm really amazed by this. I wasn't expecting him to do this well. And now he got the DD. Once he has level 6, hook needs to look out. And he's just gonna go to his uh, nice old double stack here. Or is he... No, he's just gonna go back into lane. Just some bottle crowing there. And it's already uh, stagnating a little bit more. And Ramses, yeah, he is so far also doing fine. 20 less hits versus the 15 on Miracle. As well as it, they, he has 2 le uh, assists and uh, he got 2 kills there already. Yep, so using Cox, keeping Quist a bit away, a little bit more. Getting another shot of the potion on him. And Quist, he's gonna go in aggressively here. He gets a better reassault into his face. Is Jepsor being able to turn this one around? Well, he is not because Quista gets the kill here and the Fissure is there though. Good rotation in here from Crit, getting the kill there. Essentially still one for one. And this helps Crit onto his level 3 as well. If he wants to, he can get his uh, pretty much his soul ring now as well. Good rotation there, but still, as FC, they got their first kill there. Which means that the lane is just harder and harder for the clockwork. Just start to rotate around a little bit more. Shit of Fiend, he's... Yeah, he's a Shit of Fiend, he's always able to catch up. Even though he's a little bit behind now, it's... He should still be fine later on. Yeah, they just... They just really just abandoned this lane here for the Bach and Beers and Bot. Miracle is here alone, he is even playing so defensively. He knows that if he, even if he gets caught out, if they just time everything perfectly, he's gonna die. And they're gonna smoke up here. They're gonna look for something on the middle there. But there are already three heroes here from the Balkan Bears. And it's just not an easy kill to make. And they don't even see them. And okay, now they should be able to see them. Hawk is there as well. Hawk should be spotted out there here by the uh, Observer Ward. Hook is just walking by this tower and they just lost the hawk as well. You know something is happening here. Aerie is walking into the lane. Oh, that would be the perfect target. Do they still have time on the smoke? A little bit. It's not going to be enough. This monster is just waiting here with his roar and his invisibility. But the Balkan Beers display this so defensively that they're not able to get anything. Although they're looking at the campy. Oh, they, did they see Hook? No, they did not because Shadow is walking the other way. Now they're going uh, a little bit of a smell. Yeah. The smoke gank wasn't really what they wanted to end up with. They want to get a kill here. And now they're going to see Hook. Disruption is there. It's going to split off. Going to be on time. Yes, it is not. Well, uh, that was just a little bit too late. That cancel there was not enough. And of the main. Meanwhile, Questa gets a kill here on top. Onto Jepster with this Sonic Wave. And now SFC is in a hasty retreat here. Hook is looking for something. Fissure. No, he canceled it. They are able to back off successfully from here. And now they're just going to look for Miracle. They want to keep the pressure up on all of the lanes here with uh, this aggressive roaming duo. But yeah, essentially Miracle is already a little bit too far. He was already too far back and the Spitter did miss him there. They don't get him some uh, arrestment onto his face, but yeah, it's about all. Ignored, he's looking for him. They won't be able to find him. 345, 345, but still Wind Run is there as well as uh, Facebook. And Eri is here as well. Egnard, who is got out here? Well, it might just be Egnard. He did get off this. Oh no, the Omni Slash. It was Balkan Bears caught out there. Miracle, he, he stops to get out of the power shot. It might just be dead of him. No, Miracle is able to use his, uh, his stick charges, and Ramses has to back off right now. However, on the back lines, there is still Leshrac walking in here. Shadow, is he gonna get it up? Yes, he is! Oh, Miracle, he did get off his Rind run though. So he might try to turn this one around. But Shadow, just enough HP there to survive. And he is also able to pick off the kill there onto Miracle Wind Ranger. And at the same time, Quista. He's having a good time top. He got the kill there. He got two kills actually. Although Jepster is about even on the last hits. 
that, you know, the Quelling Blade haven't got a lot there. And we're gonna see an, uh, an Orchid first on the uh, Quista here. So, he just wants to make sure that he can... Well, it's, it's just annoying actually fall off for everybody on BB. There's not one person on them that's not too good on... Well, maybe not on Jepser when he has uh, put into... Uh, when he already all uses his uh, hookshot cocks and he's just stuck there with his bad result already on. Then it doesn't really matter that much anymore. But yeah, apart from that, it's, it's a good skill, not a uh, good uh, item to be used onto the um, on this, uh, on the Jugger. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just stumbling over my words. That was terrible. Sorry about that. It's just good to be used on the uh, Juggernaut. Making sure you can't catch any of his spells off there. And state of 21, great on him as well. And I'm just saying the wrong team here. What is wrong with me? <laughs> a little bit nervous. I guess Bowen is just great on Miracle. He's great on, on Wind Rangers with Dogsters and, and essentially on anybody from their team. And there we go. We're back in here in this again. And that's going to be at state 21. He's, he almost has his Necro... He has his Necro book completed actually. He's just going to have it delivered to him on the Courier. Once it's his turn to be using it. A little bit of a standoff here in the jungle. They see each other. But none of them are really able to go on it. Crit is keeping his distance and he still has a fissure if they really do start to get close. And this is just going to be a wrap around. Everybody is walking in here. Hookshot is used. They hit Eknard. Is he going to be able to get off the disruption? No, he is not. He's just going to get blown up here by the races. Harry. He's just fine. Still level 4 though. And yeah, they just lost their uh, the support there. Still, everybody rotated in there, so Krista just has some free farm on top as well as State 21 has his own free farm here on middle. And State 21. Is there something wrong with it? Okay, everything is fixed due to my issues into the lobby already. Green dude's top thing is about to get knocked over. Well, let's just get uh, all back into it. And there's gonna be a smoke here. They're gonna look for uh, a kill on Miracle or no? Eknard, no, he walks back. He was a little bit indecisive there, but they're gonna look for him anyway. Eknard on the front. Miracle in the lane. Disruption onto him. Windrun has been used. Are they able to combo this all correctly? Yes, they are. Miracle is Windrun should end and he's gonna die here. Not before getting a Shaker shot up onto Agnard, which doesn't really do a lot. But a good rotation there, keeping Miracle down again and it's already 8 kills onto the way. Ooh, one race. Roar onto Hook. He tries to turn this one around because Quista is here with the TP in. Sonic Wave, dead. Dead Hook, dead Shadow Fiend. Back to the grave, 30 seconds before you can go back to farming. And at the same time, they're looking a little bit aggressive here on the bot lane. Diving past the tier 1 already with Shadow and Eknard. Well, Ramses is just trying to take this tower. At the same time, they're going from mid here. They're pushing it in as well. State 21, he's low on HP. This should bring him even lower and the power shot just killing him off here. Oh, there's gonna be the disruption, but Split Earth is off the mark again. Oh no. Shaq was shot perfect. Legend to the tree. Power shot kills him off. Double kill going the way already of Miracle. His uh, wind range is just too strong. Hookshot whiffed a little bit there by... Uh, no, why did I hear a hookshot? It's still on a long cooldown, that was odd. And Hook, he's going for the mecha first here. He just wants to mine up a little bit more and make sure that they can just... No, they get a little bit of the damage there. After Sonic Grave, try to pop it instantly just so that you can keep on fighting and they need it. But so far, the Balkan Bears are a little bit backline there. They did get a nice two kills back there, but... Tower's taking hefty damage already, and... Quista is still just, uh... Well, free farming away here. Let's just take a look into the grabs right now. And, yeah, Quista, he's on the top. 5400 already, he got his first Oblivion Staff ready. And after that, we have to stay 21 with 50... 5200, and after that, we have 4500. Network of Ramses and after that we have Hook with 5k. Miracle caught out Disruption. He did use... Well, Omni Slash just goes complete other way. He did use his Wind Run, so the Omni Slash also got a little bit of misses in there. Stay 21. He's walking up. They want to find Airy, but they're not able to. There you go. 
Hook looking for the mid here. But uh, stage 21 should be able in time to defend. Throws out some access. But there's going to be the Fissure though. Yeah, they're going to kill him. And with the board there, the Gask is just bouncing around perfectly. And Clockwork is even taking the kill away with his Rocket Flare there. Little bit of a kill steal there. But it's fine. They got a kill. That's what they want. And now they can just transition it into a push. Well, that's it. They could transition it. It into a push if Shadow and uh, Eknar just did a walk up there. Getting on observe ward there, they're done with the uh, with the long range fishes there without them knowing it. And a little bit of an old school thingy here from the previous patches as well. Juggernaut Mask of Madness. Mask of Madness got a little bit of a nerf. Was at 17% movement speed now instead of the 30, but still fairly good item. And it helps him just farm away. And Jepser, well, he wasn't able to deny this tower here because Krista just got the last hit on that as well. And uh, well, that is going to be his second Oblivion staff already done, and he's not too far off of his uh, Orchid, about 400 there. And this is a little bit uh, what they're going to be looking at now. Look, he got his mech already, so the might want to start using that crit. He should. He's actually not that far off. Of his blink, about uh, 700 there. Harry he still doesn't have his level 6. That's something that they want. They really want. Jepsor. He has his 4 staff now. So he's able to get out of uh, Dice's situation. As well as help his teammates out. Once they get disrupted. 4 staff um, away from that split earth. But yeah. SFC they say we want rush. They use the necro boost. They use the double damage that they found for Ramses. On the Juggernaut with a nice mass commitment there. And they just... Blow him up and a nice sneak rush there. And now they're gonna look for something into the middle here. Maybe, maybe uh, pick up first, but they are missing their juggernaut here. The whole zoo is walking in. Well, actually, the zoo just ended. And they're just gonna get this tier one now. Or Miracle is gonna look to contest this. They're walking in, yes, they're gonna contest this one because there is hooks in disruption used. Jeffcher is still there. He's gonna keep on fighting his up for the state 21. State 21 is taking a lot of damage. He's gonna die here. Though the Sonic Wave pretty much just kills off the uh, clockwork there as well. Oh no, he comes back in there. Crit taking a lot of damage. Shadow doing a lot of damage there as well in the back line. There's gonna be the Echo Slam, not killing off anybody. Hook gets off his ultimate state 21, dies there. Good Omni Slash killing off two already. Now Hook is gonna be the next one to fall, but not without taking. Ramses with him. So far, 3 4 5 trade with an ultra kill onto your juggernaut there. Wow! That's a nice gold swing. 1300. Didn't have to use, uh, spend their Aegis for it and still died after that, but well worth it, I would say. And yeah. They're gonna be back soon, fairly well. Do they have any points in the well, yeah, They don't, but they might still be able to get the tower. Here. Oh, yeah. Split Earth perfectly on Markdown, Jepster, and. There's going to be a tower taken by the Dire Jepsor. He might be a little problem, but he has a 4 step and is able to 4 step himself to safety. And yeah, they're just going to go back to base. They had enough of this. They're going to regen up. Wista, uh, he's a little bit low on mana. Orchid helps him regen fairly fast as well. And he finds another rune there. Do we have level 6 now on Eri? Yes, they do. He's going to build up to an urn. Grit. Uh, he's still the same as he was uh, two minutes ago towards his uh, blink dagger. And yeah, he's just... Uh, he wants it. I think they should wait for the next engagement. However, Miracle is gonna go on. Uh, he's taking a lot of damage here. The, the zoo doing a lot of damage. Ramses kills him off with the last couple hits there. And yeah, just another kill. Necrobook used though. And they might just use it to push in this bot. A little bit more. I don't think they're able to get a tower though. And they just might as well just keep in the pressure here a little bit more. But yeah, as long as they don't know where Jepster is on the clockwork, they essentially just can't go in there. With the hook shot into anybody, they, they just die. And even if they just rip somebody, he can just turn around, force F himself out, and they can just reset the fight a little bit. And yeah, sorry. Hmm. I'm just wondering what we're gonna be seeing. Like, we're gonna see in the medallion up onto Agnard. But uh, well, I like to pick up, especially if you can build it into solo classes later as well. Just the mischance is so big, and it will just really annoy the Shadow Fiend there as well. 
And just good versus the, the aura coming out from him as well. Okay, he's just looking for uh, for his BKB next. He wants to be able to sustain through the magical damage coming out of uh, SFC. But they do have quite a lot that already goes through magic resistance. Such as the roar and the omni slash and just the physical damage. Of course, like always. Oh, Miracle E just runs himself into the into the tree line there. Agnar doesn't want to go into him. He's a little bit afraid there from the TP rotations in that might come out there. Let's take a quick look at the, uh, the grabs now. So far, SFC, they are at 7.5k net worth. And pretty much the same in XP. So they're doing really well right now, but you can never really count out uh, a Shadow Fiend. He can just farm his way back there. And, and of course, in, uh, a Wind Ranger, man, he can just start dashing out the DPS. And but going his first item uh, X already, he's really going for the DPS build here. After this, I'm going to assume we're going to either see a BKB or a crit stick. And, oh, what? They're going to go in Miracle here. Do they have a Sonic Wave ready? They do. Miracle goes into the uh, forest, but yeah, he is still able to survive. Although, Shadow Poison. Oh, this might actually be really close. He does have stick charges and he might be forced to use it. He will and he will survive because of that. So, really close. 120 second cooldown onto his uh, Sonic Wave now, but it does mean another 30 to 40 seconds of no farming. Of Miracle delaying his uh, Agonyms by a little bit. Agnard. Why doesn't he buy his uh, medallion yet? Is he looking for a mecha? And then you also already buy your buckler. Hmm. I'm a little bit dazzled by that. Take away one. Oh, he has his Necrobook level 3 already. That's gonna be tough. That's, that's just tough. Nothing else to say, that's... Questa, he got, he's going for his Aghanims now. Pretty close to it, 900 off. Aghanim just finished by Miracle as well as the urn on the... Onto Eri here. And Ram says, oh he finds an invisibility room. We're gonna leave it there for our uh, state 21 to take it with his bottle. And they're gonna probably do something aggressive with this one. Then another two minutes left before we see the next rush timer. But so far they seem to be fairly content to just keep on farming on the side of SFC there. Yeah, they're still keeping, uh, they're actually farming ahead. They're, they're farming a little bit faster right now than SFC is. And Hook, yeah, they're just... He just got his BKB. He finally got some stuff versus the magical uh, damage coming out, but... Again, there is a lot that goes through, but... Invisibility. Oh, Jabstore, he just goes. He just gets roars and he just gets completely destroyed here by the Necro Books of State 21. And now they're just gonna go transition this into the tier 2 here. And there's, there's not really a lot they can do to defend this without their uh, Clockwork initiation. They will try to. Crit does have a Blink Dagger, so maybe with a big Echo Slam they might be able to just take this fight as well. That means if he doesn't die beforehand, he's already almost down here. They need to use the uh, mechanism here to save him, but he dies from the Sonic Wave. Hook is taking a lot of damage as well. He's going to wind up the Requiem, but it will just force Res I'm just away. This is a double kill already for SFC. Gets bouncing around fairly nicely, but it doesn't matter. And now with uh, <laughs> the other initiates uh, down, they... Are they going to back off? Yeah, they, they, they are going to back off. They want uh, the Aegis before they push for the high ground. Might be a little bit too greedy to already fire and force the fight there. Queen of Pain, he got his Aegis as well. Just after the fight, so he still has the long cooldown there on the on his ultimate. Ramses. Sanjay Yash had together with uh, Mask of Madness. This guy is just starting to run really, really fast. He gets a Malmoth as well. There's really just no way to run away from him. Maybe the only really person that can run away is <laughs> essentially the uh, the Miracle Wind Range, or even if Jabster still has a hook shot, he can use that. Crit, well, we're just gonna assume his uh, blink there is gonna be a cooldown by the constant hits there. And there's gonna be an aggressive smoke here from BB. They're gonna look for something, but... I think this was spotted out by SFC. They draw out a nice map there. And I think they know that yeah, this is gonna be the ping out. They know that there's somebody there. They're throwing out some poison. And so far, 
Vulcan Bear is not able to find anybody. And now they're gonna try a different tactic here. They're gonna try the Miracle Bait. Miracle's gonna start farming aggressively. Try to take the tower. And then they will just all jump onto the person who jumps into Miracle. But so far, that doesn't work. They find Egnor, though. There's gonna be the gas coming out. Fisher as well, keeping on the good side. Well, the bad side for Egnor, the good side there for Balkan Bears. And now they might try to translate his inner tier 1 push. At least if Quista is not gonna take this tier 2 in return. Oh, this is just falling way too fast here with a miracle uh, ultimate there. And Jabsor, he finds day 21. There's gonna be the uh, disruption. Well, there's no disruption. I mean the split earth and Jabsor, he is uh, gonna be fine. He uses his, uh, his stick charge will that will suffice. Shadow, he's just walking up there. And Jepster, he, uh, yeah, he, uh, he says, I'm done here. I got a kill. We killed state 21. It's fine. Dead beast monster there. And I, of course, uh, confused Splitter with disruption. I was expecting a save there, but he, he was already dead. He was already called out there before. A miracle. He is going for, um, this is going to be a Millstrom. Okay, Millstrom built. But uh, I still think he's going to build a uh, BKB after this. I'm not expecting a Mjolnir uh, right up after this. It's just maybe a little bit too greedy and he might get bursted down then a little bit too much. So again, there is so much. But just damage that goes through magic resist. So it's not the best PKB game though. And now, how is Hook doing? He has 2300 gold already. So he's, he's doing fine. He gets a blink dagger, a little bit more mobility going his way. Uh, that's a nice pickup there. Crit also got his one already for some time. He's uh, has been able to farm it too much since then. Jabstore, he still has his uh, his nice four step there, but uh, again, nothing else for him. Let's look any new things on Quista here. He has his uh, build up towards his uh, BKB now. Ogre Club in the stash already, and he's gonna look at the next one now. Ignored, yeah, he uh, purses his. Uh, Medallion there now he gets a cloak as well just want to resist gets a little bit more magic resist going his way I doubt it will be full on pipe because that will actually take a quite some time to be building to be build up and we have the four staff here for Lash Rack also coming out about 150 gold off just a ring of health and should be able to get it yeah miracle he got his uh, mills from now he will start doing some real DPS once he finds somebody and the horse is up though Wondering why they haven't gone for that yet. Rams says, yeah, I did want to get this tier 2 here, but... They're gonna smoke up, they're gonna use Miracle again as a bait. I'm pretty sure SFC does know that everybody's there. They need to jump in now to still save the tower, this is gonna be too late. They do fight, stay 21 in the backline, Miracle's gonna go after him, and oh no, blown up hook there by the Omni Slash as well, Sonic Wave. Now, Quista is gonna go for Jepster here, Hook buys back, he... He goes in again here. Did he buy back though? That's his... I don't know. I will look at it later. Jab sorry. He's going to be the next focus. Hook blinks in aggressively. Nice shackle shot catching off two there. And this is going to be a double kill going in the way of Miracle. Killing spree onto Hook. So he didn't die there. It was just crit. I thought Hook might have been blown up there. But he was able to blink out there. Runs up. He has to start running away right now before Miracle finds him. Another... We got another run coming on. Is he going to use it? Hmm. Yeah, he is now, but it's... Oh no, he sees Ramses. Check a shot. It even latches on Ramses. He is dead right now. He's just gonna get focus fire down. A miracle, he just TPs out. Whoa. That team fight just went complete way of Balkan Bears. They weren't able to save their tower, but to get a five-man wipe on the back of it is worth it. It's definitely worth it. And this should be... A a nice swing going their way because they were fairly far behind. Yeah, it went about 8 uh, eight to 6k XP there and both somewhere between 10 and 8 as well. And this will mean the next round of items coming up for, uh, for the Balkan Bears. And there was no buyback use or was it? No, there actually was a Ray used one. Okay, I was wondering if Hook did it. Miracle, he gets another solo kill there. Well, not a solo kill. They do. They just get a kill on Shadow on the last track. Good job again for them. He even got up a, 
a blink dagger there for even more mobility. They already have three blink daggers right now on the side of Balkan Bears. Look at this. Who got one? Miracle got one. And Crit got one. Alright, though, he's really poor. Yeah, he's low of the network. And if he ever wants to get an, uh, <laughs> his uh, agonims, it will be about 40 to 45 minutes. If he even gets it before the game ends, that is. And yeah, SFC is gonna look to defend this tower if they will commit for this push. SFC is still fairly far behind, they still about 9k gold and 6k XP, so... Pushing in might not be the best idea, and I think both teams will be just looking at rush here. They just wanna pressure this tier 1 and then go for a rush, but... Will they be able to get a favorable fight while they push this jab sword? Oh, big echo in. Disruption though saves him on time there. Crit taking a lot of damage from Sonic Red. Ramses, he goes back in. Hook is going to take a spill here as well, Crit. There is going to be a nice uh, death ward coming out, but he will still die. Miracle has to start running away right now. He's already a 4 4 2 trade so far. Miracle. Would it be the next one to fall? Good shackle shot though, but they do have blink daggers there. And he's going to die to the split earth of shadow. Team wipe now going the way. For SFC picking those up. Bottom tower is under attack. Well, that was just another team fight and just another team wipe. And that was just the advantage the Balkan Bears got with his last fight, just completely back in the gutter, just completely wasted. They're back to where they were. And well, minus Nagus, because SFC should be able to pick this one up before they're able to contest this. This is uh, tough, pretty tough. You don't even get a tower here. Now Krista has an, uh, has an Aegis, he can just start aggressively blinking in. His BKB is there as well, he's just a monster. Top of the network with 15k. This is uh, one hell of a farmed swap there. The question is, what's they gonna do to stop him here? That's it's gonna be a lot. And yeah, we'll see how it's going to end up there. State 21, he's, he got his BOTs now as well. A little bit global presence there and they're just going to start pushing and just forcing them to defend all the lanes. But they do have, of course, Jepsor here on the clockwork. Which is just a good hero to catch out anybody who is solo. Agnard. Mm, he hasn't really shown what he's going to be starting building up next. He might even just go for the pipe or go for the solar crest. Both items are good, but five might be a little bit too far off, and I think Solar Crest helps him more with the upcoming uh, uphill battle there. One thing is, is how they're gonna break high ground. They don't have the best lineup. Well, of course, you know, Lash Rig, which does a lot of damage, it's fine, but he gets blown up, and he doesn't really have that much items. He has a Glimmer Cape, though, which makes it a little bit tougher, but there's also a lot of physical damage coming out of the way of Balkan Bears. And yeah, there you go. Uh, Arizona's gonna try and rush the uh, Dagonims. Because it will just be too long. If he just up to go for Twist, a little bit more survivability there. Jepstor just finishes off his uh, his chain mill, a blade mill, I mean. And uh, but this is gonna be a tier two to go in the way of Balkan Bears. No way to stop this. And now they're gonna keep on pushing. They want this th top tower as well. And uh, State Twenty One always uses Necro books here. But those won't be used if he goes and TP spot. I don't think they're gonna go in for this. They're gonna wait for either top to be pushed in or they need state 21 to come here. And they opt for the ladder. State 21 is just gonna start pushing in top here. Nope. Wista, he's so big. He has already 2.2k gold as well. Miracle. He's not building up towards a uh, big as ex expected. This is either gonna. There's still too many options here right now. He might even just build up a, a Skadi. Or a Scythe. I think Scythe might be a little bit better in this case of the Skadi. Also a good pickup, but. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go call the Scythe for now. I think that's a better pickup. And they're a little bit. Uh, they're just waiting to see what they're gonna do. How long do they still have the Aegis? They still have it for 2 minutes, so... We all might try to commit here for another lane soon. Brit, yeah. He's just farming it up. 
And oh, Radiant Courier just got sniped. It had nothing on it though. But still, some easy money going the way of uh, SFC there. And there's already gonna be, uh, as soon as gonna be another 4 staff on the side of uh, BB. They're really just going all in on this uh, mo mobility uh, items here blink daggers, 4 staffs. Just to make sure that they can start kiting around uh, the whole side of SFC. And that's just what you want to do once, because once they latch onto you, Juggernaut will blow you up. And even Jugger, he's just going for a mess slow build here. He's also gonna go and opt for a Skadi. That's, yeah, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be Skadi. I don't think Monta is too good here, and it would really surprise me if they go for a <laughs> side onto uh, the, to the Jugger here. I think they would, if they're gonna go for that, they're gonna get it on uh, stage 21. Or maybe, uh, well, Chris Day might also be able to, uh, to pick it up as well. Good pickup for him. And they're just sp split pushing a little bit here, stage 21, taking up the top lane. Eri is there to defend it. Hook is just pushing out the top. Oops. Jungle is being farmed. Well, the jungles are being farmed by one team. And that's SFC. Which essentially just means more farm going the way of SFC and just, you know, getting a bigger lead there. But they were a little bit reluctant to go and get this uh, high ground because, watch, yeah, I just look at this, yeah, it's one minute left. And with the way the creep waves as they are now, they're not gonna go and push this one in. Glimmer Cape. That was the pick up there for Egnard. No solo quest. Mm, still a good item, the Glimmer Cape. Able to save your uh, your friends there as well. They have two of them already now, so. <coughs> Pardon there. Just a good pick up coming out from, uh, from them. And they actually just pick up Egnard there with Range of Miracle. Doing a lot of damage. He's gonna go in, run into the side shop and TP out. His ability rune used. He finds Miracle, he's stunned up there, he's not able to get anything up because there's going to be the Spit Earth follow. Some Lightning and the Necrobooks, he they're just going to kill him off while at the same time. Westa, he is out for blood and he gets it. He kills off Crit on the Earthshaker, Jepster was not there in time to salvage the fight. And Krista just uh, goes out of there. And he is going to buy two Refresher Orbs there. Or just one? But okay, it's just gonna be one on the stay on the side of SFCs. Pay 21 is gonna have one sent to him. This means a double roar. So yeah, if you get called out now, you're you're just dead. If they need a double roar to spend on the hook or something, they will do it. Ramses, oh, he gets forced up forward and he gets cocked in as well, and then Jepsu just fucks himself out. But Ramses, he doesn't care at all. He just goes and starts hitting away the tower. The cocks push him back again. He is low. He's half health. He needs to look out. Now the Fissure, Melodic, Cask, Hook, Requiem, hits him, Omni Slash, dodges it, goes for the damage, kills him. And uh, no, is he able to do this before he gets killed off? Yes, he is able to kill him down, but he does die to the Death Ward there. Crit, he's fighting up for the stage 21. But uh, yeah, the Purge is gonna kill him off there. Oh, Split Up did hit him there, though Miracle cleans up Shadow. Agnards need to start running away. And he just goes in this. Take that one on top and... Pretty successful hold here coming out of Balkan Bears. They did lose two of their heroes there but and the tower, but they keep their losses pretty much to the minimum. Sadly, they weren't able to catch off any other slaggers that were still behind. And yeah, now SFC, they will just wait for the next rush before they start pushing in because this is a little bit tough for them to do right now. They do have a Rex exposed now, but there were no buybacks used on either side, so... We didn't see the uh, Refresher Orb in play though, so we might see that uh, with the next fight. Yeah, I knew I saw it. Queen of Pain, he also has a uh, Refresher Orb. Doubles Sonic Wave, what is that? That is over 
That is 1150 pure damage. Sorry about that, that just means that pretty much everybody just gets blown up. There will be about 300 to 500 health left. So. Well, everybody. Mm, miracle. A little bit more. But a K. A little bit less, but... Really? If you get this uh, double 5 man Sonic Wave, whew! You heard that. And there you go. Mobility versus mobility. Shadow Demon Eggnard. He got a nice old bling dagger for himself here as well. There we go. Another rush attempt. This was what they're waiting for. They will try to end it with this. It's falling low. Echobook's helping out. Jabstar, he goes in. He's gonna try for the steal, but oh, he's a little bit too early and he just gets initiated and he's not able to steal the... Uh, well, anything there, the Aegis, I mean, of course, and uh, they're not able to kill an of anybody so from the back lines. Well, actually, they are. Agnor dies, Hook dies as well. Array is trying to fight this one up, but he gets Necro Boost onto him. Or well, Miracle against Ramses. Ramses gets the kill. Well, actually, he doesn't. The kill goes away of Quista. He has a double kill. And that is just the cheese plus the Aegis going the way of SFC. They were maybe a little bit too fast on the gun there to go into. And. Balkan Bears, they tap out for now. They see they can't win this anymore and they give up. They're gonna go. They're just gonna re-strategize, look for the next game and try to take a win away from SFC. Preferably two in their case because they of course want to win and go through the next round. So guys, that was this match um, for the East Portal already. This is what is a best of three. So we're gonna go into a break until the next match. I'm gonna try and get all of the... Uh, of the things sorted out while we're in the break as well guys this is the east portal sfc versus Bay balkan bears and hope to see you guys in the next match as well